Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is about tips and ideas of how to photograph in spring. The first tip that I want to give you is to go into the forest during spring because this is the moment when the first fog uh, is going to appear and this moment when there is some vegetation and there is uh, this transition towards summer it's it's really great it's a moment when fog in the forest looks really good as you can see in these shots and it's pretty simple to find a trail that kind of goes into the distance uh, sit yourself into the shadow as, as you can see on the sides of this photo and photograph towards the light and then you have in a way a tunnel that kind of leads you through the through the image uh, again the morning fogs are something very uh, common during spring so go up on the mountain to photograph the sunrise in this image I uh, used uh, a three a bracketing uh, a bracketing technique and I shot three photos with three exposures and I did this just to have the proper exposure in the sky and in the sun now, as you can see it was pretty windy by the movement of the small pine trees uh, in the foreground and the fog in the distance looks really great when I edit this photo I enhanced that fog I added a little bit of light on that area just to make it pop and the reason for which I took this photo was the fog and the, the idea that uh, you are sitting on a mountain you see an interesting uh, landscape and still in the distance there is mystery added by this uh, by this fog plants are a really really interesting thing to photograph during spring because after a long winter you you see vegetation again and it kind of makes your um, imagination go go wild I always like to photograph into the light um, because uh, the in this way the light kind of fills the plants it uh, it gives uh, volume it shows up the textures and it also gives me the possibility to sit into the darkness and to uh, lead your eye with the light towards the plants that I want another idea would be to go again um, in, uh, during sunrise to photograph a landscape in this situation I chose this uh, the, these ruins and um, the fact that the grass it's uh, it's still growing it's not fully grown it's not uh, fully green makes the image looks interesting and um, these rocks that I have in the foreground are in the in a way the counterpoint of the stronghold above again with the flowers spring is the moment when we all know the first flowers start to appear so um, for this photo I'm getting really low and I'm uh, keeping the aperture uh, at about 5.6 or 6.3 something like this um, because I don't have a macro dedicated lens I like to photograph these with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens and for what for my purpose I think it's sufficient uh, as you can see I chose to have all this green by uh, this grass and the only spot of color is this flower uh, it's uh, it, it, a good tip I think is to keep the image simple and not include other flowers in the background even though the flowers in the background would be blurred they would still draw attention to them so the reason that is why um, I chose to compose the image like this uh, again the spring is the moment when nature comes back to life the trees are blossoming and going to the countryside and capturing a, a picturesque valley with all these uh, trees that are white because of uh, of the blossom i think it it's it's a really it's a really beautiful image it it kind of uh, it kind of speaks about for me at least it speaks about uh, my childhood or uh, places that uh, bring back uh, memories sunset 
can also be an interesting moment it's the during spring again because of those uh, blossom trees and because of the mountains in the background which still have some snow on them uh, it's it as a landscape photographer you always photograph during sunrise and sunset but when you have um, a vegetation that looks completely different from uh, what it looks uh, all year round uh, I think you have a really good opportunity and the way you position yourself it's again very important the light has to fill up the the trees and has to, has to bring uh, the those white uh, blossom flowers to life and to to make them pop uh, again if you're uh, into these type of um, photos uh, you can search for interesting nature elements I don't know what these are but they looked so interesting and the the vignetting is not something that I did in post it's uh, because of the way I position myself now um, this image is not uh, that sharp but it has some really fine elements that are sharp and I think and, and I think this is the way it works really good because if you would have had all these um, small elements in sharpness then uh, you would not distinguish between them so again the position of uh, the position from where I photograph I think it's really important because I managed to have this darker area in the lower left corner and in uh, the upper right corner and then I have a streak of light on top of this small uh, bulge uh, ground covered with uh, moss or small grass and then the light kind of fills up these uh, nature elements whenever I have the chance to photograph two seasons in one photo uh, I take the shot even though in this photo for example the, the landscape it's not necessarily that beautiful uh, I really liked the idea that you have snow on the mountains and then down on the ground the no, grass and nature kind of fights to um, to come back to life uh, another tip would be to uh, go again uh, in uh, in the countryside but look for places where there are hills and small valleys especially if you have a really wet location during sunrise you might get uh, fog in this photo I have this this small cottage house surrounded by those trees that are not yet uh, blossomed but I have the grass on the ground and I'm using these rocks as a foreground element as a starting point that kind of leads your uh, attention towards the uh, house in the distance again during sunrise um, you can position yourself and have as you can see in this uh, photo the sun rising uh, from the right and this way the sun will go into those white flowers and really make them pop again during spring in the countryside you may see these um, smokes coming from the chimneys and again the light will also light the those uh, smokes and the last tip or idea if you want is to kind of go in a painting style to photograph on the hills and as you can see over here we have the fog that it's going up and the small house sitting on top of the hill now make sure when you're photographing this that you have the house or the tree or whatever element you want to photograph completely separated you don't want to have uh, th this element halfway uh, over um, over composed over a um, over a hill or some other element you need to have the house um, and the tree that I'm photographing for for this photo completely separated and on the sky the sky has to be the only background that uh, kind of intersects this or you may have a mountain but again you have you need to have this uh, the center element the element of attention completely uh, on that element don't intersect that element of interest with another uh, diagonal or another uh, 
top of the hill line and i hope i made myself clear with this photo because it's a it's really nasty to see a line going through the house or the tree over there but again the reason for being here it's spring you have the morning fog and that creates mystery and some uh, interesting and adds some interesting uh, elements to the photo so this was it these were the tips that i had for you and ideas on how to photograph spring landscapes if you have other tips or other ideas just use the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and maybe you can further support me by buying one of my editing courses the link is in the description of this video and until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way to get better bye bye